So guys, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can find another military tech or military airdrop. Uh, these crates which drop you some decent loot as well as give you that military tech used to upgrade those net runner tools. I mean, it's probably early days for many players watching this. You haven't unlocked any net runner tools yet, but it's still definitely worth your time. Uh, getting them farming these and these are farmable they're on a reset i believe it's about 30 minutes in game you can keep coming not in game so real life uh, 30 minutes real life time uh, and you can come back and grab these but yes this one's pretty difficult to get uh, and find but today i got you covered How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like quite see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so as you can see right here where I'm at, I'm going to pull out my binoculars in a quick second, but it's on the map right here. You want to come to the maple windmill, uh, discover this if you haven't already. It just saves you a lot of time just in case you do, do die. Um, and you can see right across here, if I do pull out my binoculars, don't know what happened there. You can see this right here, the night runners hideout. We need to get to that prior to get into the military airdrop which is on the, the platform right next to it so yeah that's what we're going to do right here so you can see right there on the map where it's at in that runner's hideout and this is the windmill but we're good here because there's a, a a zip line you can use from this windmill to get relatively close to this so we're good so that's what we're going to do i'm so i'm so dodgy when it comes to parkouring people i'm so <laughs> dodgy look at me jump here because it auto it auto hangs on, so I'm here pressing my right bumper uh, to grab onto it, and it's it's auto it's just flinging me off. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, so what you got to do is we got to get up there, and the way we got to do it is to scout all the way around, and it's like I said, it's it's quite difficult if you're a noob like me to even figure out how you even get up there in the first place. Because you think you can climb the scaffolding, but you can't. It just it just drops back down. So you want to quickly jump onto this lamppost and come up here. You want to jump onto this um, balcony here. Now there's an inhibitor container beyond this wall, but I can't get to it. I just don't know how you get to it. I think I might need the power glider to swing across to it, but either way. So come here, jump and use this uh, zip line and jump off. And here we go. This is where it gets kind of difficult. You can go across there, but you can't get through that door yet. So you want to use your rope and then fling yourself across and grab onto the other one. Now, I died a couple of times trying that. And as you can see, I almost failed again there. So if you land here, it's all good because you still jump up. It's relatively straightforward, guys. You just come to the edge of it. Turn around on yourself, as you see me doing, and just jump. And you'll grab on. And there you go, you're good. So I'll climb up here. And then you gotta jump onto this, which actually tilts when you're on it. It's it's um it's not too major, it's just getting onto it. Once you get onto it though, you should be fine. It just can be a bit of a pain to get on without slipping off. So once you're on it, guys, you wanna walk really to the end. And when you're at the end, you want to jump onto this wall right here where you can see the ridges are cut out for you to climb up. So then when you get to the top, guys, you have discovered a Netrunner's Hider. One of a few I've found so far. Um, there's also collectibles up here too, guys. So obviously you want to repair the generator while you're here to start. So once you are up here guys, you may have already discovered this, but there is a military uh, drop right near this. As you can see, it's on the other side of the uh, thing. So what you got to do is here guys, if you got to run up this crane, jump slightly to your right and uh, land it. Now, if you fall off, it's all good because you'll respawn at that hideout, at that winner's hideout right there. So you, you, you're good there. Uh, so don't worry about that. But yes, grab this, guys. And like I said, these are farmable. If you come back at it later time, you'll be able to pick this up again. And it gives you that military tech used to upgrade that them night runner tools. So yes, people, definitely worth your time investing. 
and there we have it guys another military airdrop location and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one